Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Today's look is focusing on a cool tone, sparkly, smoky eye, especially for coming in. So if you are interested, then keep on watching and I'll show you how. Before starting with makeup, you may want to use a hydrating mask to soak your skin up with some moisture. I'm using Innisfree Seaweed Pack for today and then giving my lips some exfoliation so that later on with lipstick it appears as smooth as possible. Putting some moisture back into my lips now using this super cute macaron lip tint by its skin. Then I'll move on to my face. Loving Misha BB Boomer lately, I can totally compare this primer to MAC Stroke Cream. It gives that same illuminating effect, hydration and staying power. For the foundation today, as always, it's Makeup Forever Ultra HD to me all the way. You guys must have noticed that if you were in touch with me. Layering that up with a flat brush first to reduce the waste, then blending that out with a damp beauty blender. In some points like in my chin and cheek, I'm going over with the second layer for some extra coverage that I needed. Now going in with Kat Von D Locket Concealer under my eyes, side of my nose, forehead and everywhere I needed. Locket is a heavy duty concealer and you need just a tiny amount that's why I'm just dotting around. And also if you put too much you'll end up creasing badly but if you use the right amount this concealer is a fantastic one for oily parts of the skin. To set my concealer I'm using Bendai Banana Powder. I'm not baking here but really pushing the powder into the skin so the product stays in place all day. I find a powder puff always works the best. I'm also patting the puff all over my face to set the foundation but with no extra product in it. Then going in with this beautiful Etude House bronzer and highlight tool, taking the bronzer part with my Elysium square root brush and bronzing up the parameters of my face. I wanted that smooth bronzy blend today in my face so this is the main base for that but we'll do a bit of contour next. I'm mixing shadow play and subconscious from Kat Von D shade and light palette and applying that to define my cheekbones slightly bit more. Then with Sigma 3D HD precision brush and the same shade from Kat Von D palette shaping up my nose. For nose contour you want to be light handed as much as possible and don't want to shade the whole nose but only the edge. Now with my previously used beauty blender, cleaning up the contour edges, I find a damp sponge is good enough for that. For a glowy and subtle look, you may want to avoid powder as much as possible. Moving on to brows, first combing them out with a spoolie, then using tart brows to fill up the sparse area. I've been loving this brow product lately. It is nicely pigmented, smooth to apply and stays all day, literally all day, but not waterproof though. To finish up my brows using Innisfree Tinted Brow Mascara in shade Natural Brown. I'm using this product for the first time now, but I guess I love the formula already. Jumping on to eye makeup, taking the shade Astrological from Kat Von G Inner Stellar Palette and with MAC 217 placing that in the eye socket area. I'm mostly blending that upward and concentrating more in the outer crease. Then with Sigma E40 giving the crease color a nice blend because blending is mandatory and smokiness is all what I want today. Now taking the lavenderish grey shade called Moonshine and placing that in my entire eyelid with a flat shader brush. I'm patting and building the color a little at a time. You can definitely use any similar shade that you have in your collection. Nightcrawler is just a black shade in the palette. With a pencil brush, I'm placing that in my outer corner in a kind of C shape because I'll not do any wing today. While applying, I'm also blending the black with grey and the crease color. And for further blending, I'm using the fluffy Sigma E40 with circular motion creating a soft smoke on the outer socket only. And then again, I'm going back with the crease color Astrological with MAC 217. And now my star of the show which is pouch pigment in shade Push Star. It's a silver pressed pigment and almost glitter like. Thanks to Althea for making this Korean goodness available. I'm freaking obsessed with the outcome of this and surely getting some more color soon. Going back to Kat Von D palette, applying Gravitron in my brow bone area to highlight that. It's a pale off-white shade with satin finish and then giving everything another blend. Now we're using Urban Decay Zero Liner to tightline and also to draw my lash line to emphasize my lashes. 
Then with the same black sheet from Kat Von D palette and an angle brush, I'll smooth out the liner. Now going down in my lower lash line using Urban Decay Delirious in my waterline. It's a shiny purple shade. Then with a pencil brush and the shade Dark Star from the Kat Von D palette, I'll smudge out the lower lash line. As my this eye is almost done here, I did the other one off camera and also put on some falsies just in the outer side. Now applying a few pores of Maybelline Magnum Barbie mascara both of my upper and bottom lashes. Then applying Holika Holika Magic Pore Liner in black over my lash band so it doesn't peek through. Onto face again, mixing Lyric and Levitation from Shade and Light palette and applying that under my eyes slightly in my forehead, nose tip and down in the chin to brighten up those spots. Now taking the highlighter from the Etude House too I used before and applying that in the tip of my nose, forehead, over my cheekbone, cupid's bow and literally everywhere where I want to glow. I'm loving how nice this highlighter is compared to its price. For the blush today I'm going in with the Balm Fred Boy and Zoeva blush brush and then I thought to intensify my glow a bit more so applied more of the same highlighter with a fan brush. Lastly, the fancy touch. Topping up high points of my face with a touch of hourglass and midnight powder. This powder helps to add some glow and smooths out the skin a bit more but this part is totally optional. For the lips, first lining up my lips with Essence Lovely Frappuccino Lip Liner, then filling up with Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Lolita 2. It's a warm brown shade and quite flattering on my skin tone. I believe it will fit every skin tone in general. To finish off my makeup, spraying generous amount of MAC Fix Plus so that all powderiness goes away and once it's dry, going on with Urban Decay D Sleek Setting Spray. And that concludes my look guys, hope you enjoyed the video, if so then don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share with your friends. In case you are curious, all Korean products I used are from Althea. I'll add all the details in the description box below. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. Wish you all have a blessed Eid. See you soon in my next video.